Phone it in! I'm calling it! <laughs> you always was old choosy, motherfucker. Oh, you balling hard with the drop top, huh? I might just be. Whatever, nigga. It ain't gonna make you go no faster. Hit me on the speakerphone. I'm moving. Oh, it's like that, nigga? Right up here, homie. I'm about to go nice and slow for your bitch ass. Shit, cool, homie. Hey, remember, we gotta be careful with these rides, homie. The Simeon ain't about to dock my pay again. Homie, man, if you need some bread, I can hook you up with JB's tow truck. It ain't got glamour, but it's some money to be made. So him and Tanya can smoke crack in peace? Homie, I'm good. Hey, open up, homie. Give me some room. You want room? Go lose some weight with your fat ass. You ain't even testing me. Hey, I'll come at you from the shoulders, homie. Hang on right there. Fine. Let's show these movie people how we roll. Hey, hey, down this alley here. Uh-huh. Keep up, homie. Hey, screw you too, homie. We hang on the left. Yeah, that's cool. This meant to be your shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. enough bad credit going around, homie. It's like it's an endless supply in this fucked up ass country. Keep busting, huh? If you want to chunk them things. Franklin. Hey, what's going down, homie? The market, my boy. Liquidity's a bitch. Get over here so I can give you the new repo list. All right, dog. I'll be around when I get a chance. Hey, did you change your mind? When I discover that you betray me, perhaps. I hear you took the bike for yourself, my employee of the month. Listen, man, me and Lamar was gonna get that back to you, dawg. Oh, I am sure. You will get this car off the daddy's boy, and then we talk. Insurance papers say they have a locked garage, so you'll need to gain access from inside the house. Man, it's never easy with you, is it, Simi? Do not talk to me about easy, you thief. Hey, Simeon, I got the ride, man. I'm coming back. Yeah, if you actually bring the repossession to me this time, I can have it back out on the street before the day is done. Say again? How the fuck we get fired? Man, it was partly all that bullshit you pulled, and partly the repos old man making me crash the car into the dealership. Ha! <laughs> you the crazy-ass motherfucker in this partnership. You better spin them while you got them. Yeah, if you say so. Hey, Jim. I'm going for a drink with... Dad? Shit! I mean our boat going down the Western Highway. It's... It's been stolen. What? The yacht's been stolen? I, I was trying to sell it. I know you didn't want it sold, but I need money, and they don't want to buy it. They just want to take it. I'm hiding in the head! You're insane! Alright, I'm coming. For my boat! Alrighty then. Change of plans. My darling boy is in trouble. I'll do what I can to help with that, man. Mr. DeSanta, what the hell? That's not my house! Bullshit. Oh, bro, I couldn't afford a place like that. I'm a tennis coach. I hit balls for a living. I was just hiding there. Give me a phone. You! You're a dead one! Green light! Green light! Martin Madrazo, give you green light! Oh, I'm scared, lady. Just fucking terrified. <laughs> Hello. 
Is this still the number for Lester Crest? Who's asking? Who's asking? Who's asking? You're awful cagey. <laughs> <clears throat> Even for a dead man, Michael. Ooh, you don't sound good, buddy. <laughs> Tactful and charming, even in death. Hey, come see me, old friend. I'm living in Los Santos, just like you. Marietta Heights. Whoa, whoa, wait. Hey, how do you... Hello? You fucker. Oh, Sir! Oh. Michael? I'm all dressed up. Now, you want to run me through this thing? The prototype is somewhere in the Life Invader office. Find it and fit it with the device in your bag. They just gonna let me in? Why wouldn't they if you look the part? Hang around till someone opens the door and act entitled. Fine. Hey, Michael. Hold on, hold on. Don't! I don't ya! Lester, the thing's in the prototype. I'm going home to watch the keynote. Teabag time, my friend! Lester, did you hear me? Are you playing that game? Yeah, yeah, sorry. The phone is rigged. And what's your problem? You don't like shooters? They're all the same. Besides, you know me. I'm a movie guy. Classic Vinewood. Classic Vinewood ended 30 years ago. Now it's just superheroes, romantic comedies, and remakes, none of which interest me. Hey, I believe this country can still make interesting movies. There's no better way to define American life than a two-hour plot in which the hero looks good and defeats evil. Ah, whatever you say. Enjoy yesterday. <laughs> Anyway, just call the device after he's unveiled it, and then we'll talk. The Life Invader mobile device. Yes, we've invented something no one else has ever thought of. Oh, hold on a Fuck second. You. I think someone's trying to talk with me. Hello? Hello? Oh! Get security! Ah. Oh, Jesus! Whoa! No, 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 Let's... no, 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 no. Whoa! <laughs> Last, that was heavy. Are you watching the news? I don't have to. I'm watching the markets. I'll be trading pure alpha till close. All right. Hey, about that other thing. You know the score. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Let's do it. Put on a suit, look somewhat professional, and meet me at my warehouse off the LS freeway. Oh, uh, and I'm about to email you a link for the exchange. You can put in some trades of your own. I'm trying to stay off the day trading. Uh, but maybe I'll take a look. Don't touch me! Oh, you don't have to call to tell me that. Not you. The Dieter Sachs door detective. There's been a misunderstanding. I need you to help clear it up. Oh, now you want it. All right, I'm coming. The one phone call rule is for real reason, you worthless turd. Yeah, but see, if I help you out, you're never going to learn. You too, honey. Screw you, Michael. The lawyer's fees are coming out of your account. Hey, what's up? Hey, man, it's me, Michael. What's going on? Listen, um, I gotta get hold of the money for that house we pulled down, so well, I'm getting a crew together for, uh, you can guess. The pay will be awful, and the risk will be high, but you might learn something if you're interested. Man, that's not exactly a great sales pitch, dog. but I guess I gotta start somewhere. Thank you. Maybe one day you can put together your own deals, your own jobs, so... There's still some preparation I gotta do. Sit tight for a while. My buddy Lester will get in touch with the details. All right, Lester, we got a pest control van. Good, I've got a line on the knockout gas. It's made in some lab on the coast, but two shipments a day come through the city from the northeast, taking it to the airport. All right, I'll see if I can jump one. Hey, Lest. I got the good night gas. That's everything we need. I'll put out word that the score is ready to go. All right, Lester. I got us the tag team rifles. All right. Then this score is ready to go. Come inside and meet the crew. 
care if you got money now. Don't you get it? That ain't what I was looking for. Not then, not now, not ever. I know it ain't important. Just let me take you somewhere nice, all right? Where are you? Uh, are you in a strip club? Grow up. Stop looking for the easy way. Tanisha, I gotta go, all right? Uh, I, I'm gonna change, I promise. You won't even recognize me. Speak! You know I don't like using these things. They're listening. Then make it quick. That business thing's been set up. The Chinese guy, Mr. Chang, is at the inn. You said that on the phone? What the fuck is wrong with you, damn it, Ron? Now I'm gonna have to discipline you and you know how I feel about that. Chef, we're just coming down to see the kitchen. You can't get here quick enough. The Aztecas are coming. They think you took out Ortega. They ain't mistaken. Well, get down here and take them out, too. Trevor Phillips. Elwood O'Neill. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Trevor, it's business. That wide-eyed idiot was mine. It's business, fella. You want to discuss it? We're at the bar. Ernie, Earl, Walton, Wynn, Dale, Doyle, Daryl, Dan, all of us. Start writing those names on tombstones, because I'm on the way to your lab, and we're going to see how much of a family myth business you got when I'm done! Mm. Dave. We need to talk. I was about to tell you the same thing. Okay. Meet me at Galileo Observatory as soon as you can get there. Okay. Guess you can't judge a corpse by its toe tag. I found the toe tag. Ferdinand Karamov. It's on some big black lady. Definitely not your guy. Okay. The agency have the lower floors on lockdown to prevent a leak. I got a guy who can cut the power to give you some help, but you'll have to get upstairs if you're gonna get out. Hey, Mike. Yeah. Hey, we need to talk. Quick, meet me at those oil derricks just outside town, El Burro Heights. And make sure you're not tailed. Man, that don't sound too good, homie. Look, I'm on my way. Dave, the hell was that? You know how many spooks I just ran into? I'm sorry. They're not nice people if that's a consolation. What's going on? There's a big target out there, something in the shadows. The data algorithms are reading off the charts. Whoever finds it, the Bureau or the agency, is gonna get a big bump in funding. Like I care about your funding. I'm out, Dave. You're not. I need you to meet my boss. We'll be downtown, in the plaza between the FIB and the IAA buildings. The IAA building? You fucking kidding me after the spat I just had with those agency men? Relax. They won't be looking there. They never expect an inside job. I need you to make a couple of calls. Get some people on board. First guy is Franklin Clinton. Hey, I barely know that kid. He's fixing up my car. Call him or we'll send some G-men to his aunt's house. Okay. Okay. Michael, this ain't the best time. I'm kind of busy. Hey, sorry about that. Listen, you know that thing we talked about before? It's happening. I need you to come to a lot off El Rancho, not far from where we met before. All right, that's cool. I'm in LS anyway. Now, Trevor Phillips. Oh, you're crazy. I ain't calling him. I thought you might say that, so we had him picked up. That's a dumb move, Dave. Real fucking dumb. Just worry about the plan, okay? Getting Mr. K out of the IAA station. DeSanta. That's not the name in your file, Michael. Steve Haynes here. Yeah, Agent Douchebag. Hey, that poor son of a bitch we grabbed for you still breathing? See for yourself, right now. Trevor Phillips is on his way to help with the debrief. Warehouse, off Dutch London and Banning. Great. 
Sounds just like my kind of party. Who the fuck is this? The guy keeping you out of the gas chamber. Townley's on his way. We need to talk face to face. Warehouse off Dutch London and Banning. Oh, we can do more than talk, my friend. Trevor, these photos, you've really stumbled onto something. The ship, Merriweather. Yeah, 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 I know. Tell me about the ship. If we put a man with a gun on the bridge next to it and get a guy on board, I think we got a good chance of taking over. Way it looks to me, there's a container below deck. They're guarding it for the government, keeping it off the books. Serious military technology, most like. Yeah, of course. I just found a manifest. They're testing something out at sea. It's gotta be that. Now, get back to work. The TPI conglomerate ain't thriving. There's only one man responsible. Of course, yeah. But I'll start pulling all the intel I can get on Merriweather at the same time. I got a file here somewhere. Ah, Trevor. Hey. Mikey, hey, listen. Loving it here in LS. Really settling in. Getting my first enema tomorrow. <laughs> anyway, I heard about some action. Yeah, huh? Yeah, okay. Oh, uh, yeah. Now, there's still some prep work and research to do, but it's looking exciting. I'll need you to bring along someone you can trust. All right, bro. I know someone. Hey, talk to Lester. He'll have a good angle on this. Ah, Trevor. Hey. Mikey, hey, listen. Loving it here in LS. Really settling in. Getting my first enema tomorrow. <laughs> anyway, I heard about some action. Yeah, huh? Yeah, okay. Oh, you bet it's okay. <laughs> listen, I gotta do a little prep work, but so far it's looking pretty tasty. I'll need you to bring along that kid you've been hanging with. Franklin. Oh, yeah. Oh, and how's your flying? You might need to take a few classes at flight school. Why would I need to do that? Trust me, you'll regret it if you don't. Gonna be just like old times, pal. Hey, it's done. I know. Good work. All right, well, she, let me know about the next thing. Will do, but before that, I've got to tell you something. Our investment portfolio is getting a little, uh, successful, so I figured we needed some tangible assets and you know, property, so we bought a house in the Vinewood Hills. Yeah, sure, man, whatever. You know best about this shit. And we needed someone to live there you know, for tax purposes, so some guys are moving your stuff in. Oh, shit! Meaning I don't have to live with my crazy-ass aunt no more? Man, I don't know what the fuck to say, dawg. Don't say anything, especially if a man in a suit comes to the door. Ah, I'm joking. That probably isn't gonna happen. It's yours. Enjoy it. 3671 Wispy Mound Drive. Okay, you know Redwood cigarettes? Sure, the cigarette that built America. They've rigged a jury to throw a class action lawsuit that would cover the treatment costs of thousands of emphysema sufferers. There are four corrupt jurors on Redwood's books. I'll send you the details. Oh, and we only have a few hours to make them disappear. The court case is tomorrow morning. Is that all, dog? Shit, that's quite a favor. And that's quite a house you're living in. Get this done quickly, and I'll try to throw in a sweetener as well. Now, I'd advise picking up some long-range hardware to get this job done. You'll be helping a lot of people with this, Franklin, including anyone who might have a sizable investment in, say, uh, debonair cigarettes. Hey, L, it's done, homie. All of them. Very good. I'll be in touch. How you doing, Trev? Fine! For a guy who just went into an airbase and stole a chopper, are we ready to go on this thing? 
If it's the heavy lift chopper, then yeah, I'll get everything ready and I'll call you. All right. On your cell, man! Get away from the ship! They going up! Guys, a few more details. We'll need boiler suits and masks for this job. Garbage truck. Let's get one from your park. Bring it back to the lot. And there's an auto repair place by the airport where we can get a tow truck. What else? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get away. That would be nice. Get something fast and discreet. We park it off the road a good distance from the lot. And make sure it ain't near something we'll crash into driving off. That's it. All right, man, I got you, dawg. What? Huh? I missed that. Maybe shout a little louder? Fight me! We have a getaway vehicle ready and waiting. Good work, T. Where'd you put it? Hey, I got a ride for our getaway, homie. Well done. Where's it stored? We got a getaway car stashed and ready to go. Cool, dog. See it. Where is that? Hey, I moved the car. It's it. Uh, it's in. Uh... Hey, I had to uh, switch up our getaway, man. New location is a. Uh... Hey, there's been a change of plan in regards to the getaway. The new location is... Uh... Where is that? Sanitation truck's there now, so don't you bother. That's the garbage truck. Garbage trucks at the lot. Tow truck is at the lot. Hey, the tow truck's at the lot, dog. Ready to go. We got ourselves a tow truck. Lucky miss! Boiler suits can come off the shopping list. Hey, y'all, we got ourselves some boiler suits. Taken care of. Just to say, I got us some headgear for this masquerade balls up. Okay then. I handled the mask, man. Don't worry about him. everything. Come back to the lot and I'll talk you through the plan. When we get the stuff, Steve says we gotta take it to Devin West, the guy we met at that interrogation. It's a big investor or something. Anyway, that don't matter. I'll handle the drop-off. Okay, that's everything. Come back to the lot and I'll talk you through the plan. When we get the stuff, Steve says we gotta take it to Devin West, the guy we met at that interrogation. It's a big investor or something. Anyway, that don't matter. I'll handle the drop-off. Hey, Leah, you got my text? 
You ready to do this? Yep, we got everything we need. Okay, so move already. When you get the stuff, bring it to Devin Weston. You met him at our internal rendition site. He's a major player in the investment world, so treat him with respect. I'll show him as much respect as a friend of yours deserves. Everything cool? Yeah, man, shit, that trash truck is trash, dog. You good? Nice work. I'm about to meet this guy. I'll tell you how it goes. Hey, what up, Michael? Hey, man. Listen, I got an interesting opportunity for you. An acquaintance of Dave's. An FIB contact? Are you joking? Relax. The guy's private sector. Very well. Could be lucrative. Why don't you meet him and see what you think? All right, all right, yeah, yeah, I'll think about it. All right, me and Trevor will be there, too. I promise you, it's a step up for you. A real opportunity. Hey, Frank. Hey, I'm nearly with these dudes, man. You guys comfortable on your end? Yeah, I guess. We look pretty ridiculous. <laughs> all right, man, look, I'll see you soon. Yeah. We'll pick you up coming through Grape Seed. Get the drivers there and get them going at speed. Hey, we're coming up now, man. Beat it in a few seconds. Got it. Whatever. Here they come. I'll tell you about that later. Ah, the lady from before. Devin's assistant. Good to be working with you. It's Molly Schultz, Senior Vice President and General Counsel to Mr. Weston's Holding Company. And if you think it's good to be working with common thieves, well, you're very mistaken. Have you got the cars? Wow, the whole resume. Yeah, we got the cars. Bring them to Hayes Auto on Little Bighorn in South Los Santos. Mr. Weston and I will meet you there. Hey! Just spoke to Devin's man, woman, lawyer person. I'll be waiting at Hayes Auto in South LS for you idiots to show up. Yes? Mm, I know that voice. Hear that? Johnson's Johnson. Molly Schultz, Senior Vice President and General Counsel to Devin Weston's Holding Company, if that's what you mean. Oh, keep talking. I'm enjoying this. Let's assume you're talking about the cars. Bring them to Hayes Auto on Little Bighorn in South L.S. Mr. Weston and I will meet you there. Uh, don't hang up. I... Uh, I think I love you. I vote we indulge his childish need to play. Besides, it's his head on the block if they get scratched. Devin's lonely lawyer says go to Hayes Auto in South L.S. So that's where I'll be waiting. We'll see you. Hello? Hey, you that lady? The intense dude's assistant, right? Assistant? This is Molly Schultz, Senior Vice President and General Counsel for Devin Weston Holdings. I need to tell Devin we got them cards. Mr. Weston will not discuss matters like this with you on the phone. I'll be your port of call for business concerns. Well, shit, me and your boss ain't gonna have any personal concerns. Bring the cars to Hayes Auto on Little Bighorn in South Los Santos. Mr. Weston and I will meet you there. Well, I ain't waiting around, man. Let's go, but uh, don't mess up the cars, you hear me? So Devin's lawyer says we gotta take them to Hayes Autos in South L.A. I'm gonna be there well ahead of you. Mr. Clinton. Hey, Mark, right? I got that car for y'all. The Z-Type? Mr. Weston will be glad you caught us. He wanted to see it before we took off. We're on the way to his personal hangar at Los Santos International. I'll tell them to expect you at the gate. All right. Hey, I'm delivering the ride to Los Santos International. Ever heard of 
Jackson Skinner. He's head of product development at Facade. Man, we must read different magazines. And the bastard made a fortune selling customer data to the highest bidder from Moscow to Tehran. He's handing it to the cyber terrorists on a fucking silver platter. Okay, dog, chill. Shit, chill. I got you, man. What's the play? I'm reliably informed that he has a weakness for working girls. There's a regular he likes to pick up in La Puerta. You stake her out, and she should lead you to Skinner. I'll send you the location. Meanwhile, maybe I'll take another look at the fruit share price. <laughs> All right, homie. I'll be in touch. Oh, no! No, no, Hey, man, I wiped that software for you. Ah, excellent news. I'll speak to you soon. So who the fuck don't you like today? Guys called Isaac Penny, ruthless vulture capitalist, about to take a controlling interest in Vapid Motor Company and sell thousands of workers down the river. Penny's uh, one of those tight-fisted billionaires, rides the same bus to and from work every day. I was thinking you could take over the route and... Drop the ass off where he needs to go. I got it. Good. Oh, one thing. If I was you, I wouldn't buy any Vapid stock until the acquisition falls through. Green light. Good to go. Hey, Solomon. I'm just doing that thing. Good, good. Now, I realized in my excitement, I forgot some details. Yeah, it seemed obvious. You want this Pelosi guy clipped. No, God, no. Is that an option? No, no, no. Bad idea, bad idea. No clipping anyone. Just teach him some manners. He's also in my director's ear as well if you'd believe it. So teach this punk a lesson and bring the talent back to set. Ideally, in a more collaborative mood. I'll see what I can do. They all gonna be at the club? I'm told it isn't a club so much as a rat pit. Anton and Milton are supposed to be there, and Pelosi's on the way to pick them up. He's taking them to his lawyer to sign the contracts. So if he hears there's someone from the studio coming, he'll get him out fast. All right, I'll go in quiet. I'll see you on the set, boss. Hey, Mr. Madrazo. How's that rebuild going? Good. I need to see you. Come to La Fuerta Blanca, my ranch off Senora Road, and bring Mr. Clinton. Hey, look. Franklin? I hardly know the kid. I don't want him caught up in this. You'll need another pair of hands. All right, there's another guy. Trevor Phillips. Me and him are partners. Okay. I'll have my people messenger him. T, how'd it go? Fine. Just fine. I got the files. I'll take him to Madrezzo and explain the human cost of this errand. Oh, take it easy, man. Listen to me. We'll talk about that later. I want you to just drop off the files. I gotta get rid of this rifle, then we'll talk. What? There's been a change of plans. You don't need to come to the ranch. Meet me at Stoner Cement Works, a little up Sonora Road from there. What are you doing, Trevor? Nothing you wouldn't do. Trevor! Trevor! Ah. I wouldn't do. Somehow I don't believe that. Hey, Molly. I'm outside the studio. All right. Go over the wall and find the car on the lot. And then what? Only the principal actors and stunt people are authorized to go near it. So, you could get in wardrobe and play the part or try something else. All right. When you're out of there and clear of studio security, call me. If you have the car, bring it to Hayes Auto in South LS. Mr. Weston is marathon training, but he can change his route and meet you there. Yeah, okay. Because I got the car and it was messy. That's fine with us, but your associate, Michael DeSanta, has done some work at the studio and he might not be so happy. Yeah, yeah, whatever. What kind of shape is the car in? Well, whatever. We plan on refitting the guns to take live ammunition. Do the traffic spike and ejector seat need replacing too? Uh, both of those are going to need replacing, all right? Good. One more thing. Mr. Weston is marathon training, but he can reconfigure his route to meet you there. All right, cool. I got the car. No drum. That's good. 
The studio is enough of a money sink without the costs that that drama can bring. What kind of shape is the car in? We plan on refitting the guns to take live ammunition. Did the traffic spikes and ejector seat need replacing too? Spikes, yeah. But the seats is fine. Good. One more thing. Mr. West, the traffic spike and ejector seat need replacing too. The traffic spikes are still there, but you're gonna need a new seat. Good. One more thing. The traffic spike and ejector seat need replacing too. Everything's still there, just like I found it. Good. One more thing. Mr. Weston's security detail are concerned about a suspicious figure near the garage. Let us know if you see something. Where you at, man? Your house is empty. Ah, oh, hey. I had to kind of lay low for a while. Yeah, that nice Mexican we met. Me and T did that job for him, and we fell out. You gotta be joking. I wish I was. So where you at now? <sighs> Desert, out by Alamo Sea. All right, well, I'll hit you if I find anything. Absolutely. Uh, oh, hey. Trevor's got his wife. Trevor's got a wife? No, no, the Mexican's wife. What? <laughs> Shit, I don't know what to say about that one. Nothing. Nothing to say about that. Run! Run! I'm back! What is that smell? Did I bury someone around here? Hi. Trevor! Shit, are you okay? I saw the plane go down. I survived, and Lizard Army didn't do so well, so that's something. Ah, oh, thank God! The fuselage went into the Alamo Sea. You might be able to salvage the hardware with dive gear or something. Ah, oh, good idea! But it'll take time. Tell Oscar he ain't getting these guns. Okay. Look, I gotta ask. Are you in with the federal government? An agent, Sanchez, was round here saying you and Michael had to meet his supervisors at the garage. The cook site. Fuck, I gotta do this, okay? But I'm using them, all right? They, they ain't using me. Let's make that clear. Let me call Lester. What now? We got a funding problem, so we need a job. Before the jewel store, you talked about a score, a, a bank in the sticks. I need you to meet us there. Polito Bay, right? That's the one. I'll get on a bus. Give your passenger some. Let me call Lester. Michael, how's your vacation? Just great. Paradise. Only it's turning into a work trip. I remember you mentioning something about a bank in the sticks. Uh-huh. That wasn't Polito Bay by any chance. That's the one. All right, look. I'm heading there with Trevor. Can you get down here and help us scope it out? Okay, sure. I'll get on a bus. Franklin, buddy, what's up? Hey, look, there's these redneck dudes been looking for you, homie. Some angry motherfuckers. I found where they stay, man, and I've been following them. Okay, well, it's gotta be the O'Neill brothers. <laughs> What's left of them? I'll pick up Michael and we'll come to you. T, hey, man. Hey, man, me and Chop on these punks. We coming up to WH. North of Chumas. All right, all right, the O'Neill brothers are coming to us. I think they was about to send one of them anti-tank rockets into your Vespucci condo when one of your roomies told them that you was gone. Okay, so if you're on the WH, that means you'll be coming through Ratton Canyon, right? Shit, I guess. Good. Me and MT are gonna take the company chopper and meet you there. Company chopper, yes, Michael, it's a tax write-off. Frank, you still there? Yeah, I'm just about holding on to the road. We're taking the chopper and we'll head you off. Deal with these business stealing pricks on the road. Hey, dog, can you, like, get on it? Because these dudes is rolling hard. We're five minutes out from the chopper. All right. <laughs> Trevor, man, shit, you there? There was a deer in the road, man. These motherfuckers crashed out. They crashed? They dead? No, nah, they gone. They ran into the fucking woods, man. I need air support like right fucking now.
It's me, dog. Where we at? We're at Enzo Benelli, mafia guy turned real estate developer. He's bullied his way onto half the building contracts in Los Santos. Extortion, murder, labor racketeering, you name it. There's not a construction worker in town earning a livable wage right now, and Gold Coast Development is about to go under. <laughs> and let me guess, you got a personal interest in Gold Coast, right? <laughs> Anyone think you'd done this before? Uh, according to Benelli's cell phone, he's at the construction site downtown. It's done. One small problem. My source squealed. Benelli's expecting a hit. Watch yourself and go equipped. You'll have a lot of muscle. It's taken care of, but man, that shit went south. I know. We better let this simmer now. Way too much heat. Very nice work, Franklin. Lester the molester, bro. We got ourselves some military hardware. It's parked out back in my office. Okay, Trevor, the... Trevor, uh, I'll let you know when the score is happening. Keep me in the loop, bud. Lester the molester, bro. We got ourselves some military hardware. It's parked out back in my office. All right. We might be ready to move on this thing. Meet me up in the lab. Teach you a lesson. I ain't got no beef with you. You really shouldn't mess with heroes like me. Lest, that military hardware we needed. It's parked out back in Trevor's office. His office, right. Well, uh, I'll be in touch when it's time to move on the score. Les, that military hardware we needed. It's parked out back of Trevor's office. All right, we might be ready to move on this thing. Meet me up in the lab. Hello? Tally's on the line, too. Hey, Trev. All right, I need your whole crew over at Cape Catfish. We're moving on the chemical weapons plant. Nah, 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 nah. I just gave something to Lester. I need to deal with some stuff, get back to Los Santos. Just, uh, give me a week. We got the equipment with your Polito money. The gangbanger's already on the way. The window's open, my friend, and you are jumping out of it. Shit. Shit! Los Santos ain't going anywhere, bud. Fuck you! Hey, come on, where are you going? You know where I'm going, fuck you! You don't need to go all the way to North Yankton to find out what I can tell you over a couple beers back in my house. What? Come on, we yes. order pizza. Fuck you! Fuck your pizza, fuck everything it stands for! This is insanity! Oh no, no, it's clear and reason thought, finally! Stop your car, come on, come back, we'll talk. <sighs> I'm not gonna listen to another one of your lies! Hey, I'll lay it all out for you, everything. Just stop the car, turn around. I'm going up there to see it for myself. You'll be disappointed. <laughs> oh, I'll be something. It'll be an anti-climax. The grave's empty. Just a bag of sand, something like that. Just smoke and mirrors. Oh, lies! How do you do it, man? The game is up! I'm trying to save you a trip. You've done me enough favors, buddy, all right? Save your fucking breath. Trevor, come on. Fuck you, Michael! Soon enough, I will. Shit! Fuck you! Hey, come on, where are you going? You know where I'm going, fuck you! You don't need to go all the way to North Yankton to find out what I can tell you over a couple beers back at my house. Come on, we'll order pizza. Fuck you! Fuck your pizza, fuck everything it stands for! This is insanity! Oh, no. No, it's clear and reason thought. Fine. Come on. Come back. We'll talk. I'm not gonna listen to another one of your lies. Hey, I'll lay it all out for you. Everything. Turn around. I'm going up there to see it for myself. You'll be disappointed. <laughs> oh, I'll be something. It'll be an anti-climax. The grave's empty. Just a bag of sand. Something like that. Just smoke and mirrors. How do you do it, man? The game is up! 
I'm trying to save you a trip. You've done me enough favors, buddy, all right? Save your fucking breath! Trevor, come on! Fuck you, my... Soon enough, I will. Special Agent Norton. Shit. Davy. Shit, he knows. I think he knows. What? Who? Think! Shit. Shit, how? I don't know how. He used his head. But does he know? Does he know at all? Hey, he's on his way up to Ludendorff to confirm his suspicions. Shit. Then what? Then who fucking knows what? I don't know. I'm gonna go see if I can reason with him. But I come, but I, 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 I... Yeah, don't worry about it. This is between me and him. Besides, if it goes wrong up there, I'm sure you ain't far down his list. That's good to know. Trevor? It's great to, uh... They're a plane I can use. Get me across country. Sure. Sure. We got one fueled up for a trip south of the border. I'm taking it. Is everything okay, man? Everything is not okay. Nothing has ever been okay, but I gotta see it for myself. I'm gonna see an old friend, all right? You're where I think you are, buddy. I don't know why I didn't see it. I guess, I guess I didn't want to. Fuck! Maybe I knew all along. I'm gonna find out for sure, and I'm gonna do something about it. There's always something wrong with that job. What went down after, I guess. I guess I wanted to believe fucking, fucking flea circus! Idiot, idiot! Idiot! I'm sorry, Trevor. Trevor Phillips Industries. Mr. Phillips, this is Wei Chang. You know my eldest son, Tao. Yeah, the ex-nut. Backed out of a contract we agreed on. How is he? Still learning the ropes, thank you. My friends miss you in North Yankton. I was hoping we could talk. Ha! <laughs> was that your people? Ah, oh, of course. Sorry I had to cut out. Your operation causes problem for me. I want to expand into Blaine County. But your business and your temperament prevent me from making inroads. Oh, well, too bad. I don't know what you can do about that. I've already done something. We have your lover. Whoa, 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 whoa. My lover? My Cody Santa. You live in your trailer together with the maid. And then you were alone in that big house. Well, you're clearly very close. You know, how much will you give up for his safety? <laughs> My lover! Yeah, right! That's a tough break. I never want to double-cross a friend and put him in danger, but you gotta do what you gotta do. My business ain't going anywhere. I'm serious about this. He will die. Tell him I love him dearly. Trevor Phillips Industries. Mr. Phillips, this is Wei Chang. You know my eldest son, Tao. Oh, yeah. Massive E-head. Backed out a contract we agreed on. How is he? Still learning the ropes, thank you. We've been watching you, Phillips. Your operations causes problems with our plans for expansion. And since you're not a viable business partner... Oh, viable? What the fuck is that? We have your lover, Phillips. From the trailer. My lover. Yes, my Cody Santa. You live with him with your maid. He's in our custody now. Give yourself up and he will live. <laughs> okay. All right, yeah, yeah. No, of course, man. That's a that's a tough break. Uh, look, you guys deserve each other. Hold on to that fat traitor. And feel free to torture him to your heart's content. You'll save me the trouble. Mark Davis, what's up? I'm part of the team. That's what's up. Team? I don't do teams. Uh, Devin Weston's car still a team? The one Frank's running. Oh, oh yeah, that one. Hey, look, I boosted the ride. I'm about to meet your boy Franklin, and I need your ass to pick up the Packer, meet us outside the garage, and we taking these motherfuckers up to Polito Bay. All right, buddy. Fine. That's a long trip. What's cracking? 
Hey, I jacked the last ride on that list. You ready to go? Shit, I'm ready to get paid, nigga. Damn. Crazy man's got the other ones. Come meet me by Glass Heroes and Strawberry so we can do the damn thing. I'm on my way. Hello. Hi, it's Frank. Franklin Clinton. Mr. Clinton, sure. For the record, this falls under attorney-client privilege. Mm. We got that shipment, you know? Cops was all over it, but we lost them. Where exactly you at? Procopio truck stop. Get here soon. We're taking a ride to the truck stop at Procopio. Mr. Clinton, where are you? We're coming up to GOH. Man, the cops was all over us. They slowed us down some. That's not surprising. The insurance companies have been pressurizing them to find you since the studio break-in. You knew there'd be heat? Man, you could have told us. Don't get emotional. We're waiting at Procopio Truck Stop. Be here soon. We're taking a ride to the truck stop at Procopio. Franklin. What's happening, Lester? Hey, look, you seen Michael? Man, the contact he set me up with is holding out on the payment, dawg. Huh. Uh, let's see. His phone is offline. His credit cards aren't active. This is aberrant behavior. Hmm, the last usage is for a flight to North Yankton. There, there was a signal from his cell back in Los Santos, but now nothing. Damn. Is he in the city, dawg? Shit, he could be in trouble, huh? I don't know, but it's worth speaking to Trevor. Most likely he was with him in the Midwest. I'll get him to come see you. Shit, all right, homie. Look, send him to my aunt's crib, all right? Lester Crest! I'm amazed you're still with us. Just barely. Look, Franklin needs to see you. He had some trouble securing payment on that last deal. He needs to find Michael. Oh, look, I don't know nothing about that, but if he had trouble getting payment, that's my problem, too. I mean, I took half those cars. Fine, whatever. Just tell him you don't know where Michael is, but do it in person. He'll be at his old place on Forum. Hey, it's me. What did Trevor say? Man, Michael's being held by a Chinese crew because of Trevor. The irony isn't lost. I'm sending you an app for your phone. Michael's cell just came back online. This will track its signal. It'll work better the closer you get. Be careful. Sure. I'm only a paraplegic, but you can't feel anything. Ah, uh, yeah, you're throwing me softballs. Rum runner. But, uh, speaking of accidents, those guys had one. Oh, if only we'd met 20 years ago, Michael. Maybe I wouldn't be in this mess. Yeah, you and me both, brother. Look, it's a pain, I know. But could you come by the studio now? I got something I'd like to show you. Yeah, of course. I'll be right over. I got a lot on my plate right now. Maybe some other time. Sugar plum. Daddy, I'm in trouble. What is it? Money? Drugs? Your mother. There's this guy. He's been following me around. I think he's about to do something. Where are you? Vinewood Plaza. Okay, wait there. He's been following me in my car, so let's just drive around and you can talk to him when he shows. Oh, yeah. We'll talk. Yeah, yeah, I'm kind of busy right now. Fine! I'll call someone who can help! You'll be fine. Slow it down, Slick. You're not thinking. Hey, I'm a producer. I'm producing the goods. Don't do this, Slick. Think. She's got a police escort. She's on the way to my personal hangar. Security at the airport worked for me. I just want to get the film back before she does anything rash. Molly's highly strung. She's not going to stop and talk it out with a deranged killer chasing after her. That ain't who I am today. Look, I don't want to hurt anyone. I just want to get my move. 
Slow down and use your brain. Fun time is over. I loved you once, Tony, but there's nothing between us. Now that I know you prefer dictation. Really? We're doing this now? I just watched Devin Weston's legal counsel get juiced in a jet engine. Oh, that Molly woman? Oh, Lord, that's horrible. You have no idea. She panicked, went crazy, and ran into it. But I saved the print, and we still got our movie. You believe that analog thing? It's all digital. We have backups everywhere. I mean, we're shooting on green screen. Well, you could have told me. I'm sorry. Look, I thought you knew. The edit's nearly done, and we've got to get it out before they can screw us again. I've greenlit a premiere. That will stop them from burying us. A premiere? For Meltdown? Okay. Can you invite my family? They can finally have something to be proud of me for. Of course! It's already on its way by Korea. All right. Shit. I'll get ready. It was an American divorce, by the way. The movie quote. Obviously. Hey, Mike. It's Franklin, man. I'm following the architect. All right. Don't fuck it up. All right. Hey, Mike, it's Franklin, man. I'm following the architect. All right, don't fuck it up. All right. Hey, Les, that getaway car is parked where we need it. All right, give me the location. Good work. Call me when the rest of the prep's taken care of, okay? Hey, there's been a change of plan in regards to the getaway. The new location is, uh... Hey, Les, that getaway car is parked where we need it. All right, give me the location. And I guess we can't put it off any longer. I'll get word out to the guys. Come out to my office and speak to me. Lester, I got us that getaway car for when we come out the bureau. All right, give me the location. Okay, good. There's still some more to do, right? Call me when that's taken care of. Hey, I had to uh, switch up our getaway, man. New location is uh, Bert. Lester, I got us that getaway car for when we come out the bureau. All right, give me the location. Good, good. Well, that's everything. I just need to show Michael something, and then this job is a go. Hey, Lester. We got a fire truck. It's parked around the back of your place. Good work. Call me when the rest of the prep's taken care of, okay? Hey, Lester. We got a fire truck. It's parked around the back of your place. Then I guess we can't put it off any longer. I'll get word out to the guys. Come out to my office and speak to me. Hey, Lester, man. The fire truck's around the back of your factory. Okay, good. There's still some more to do, right? Call me when that's taken care of. Hey, Lester, man. The fire truck's around the back of your factory. Good, good. Well, that's everything. I just need to show Michael something, and then this job is a go. Mike! Hey, I'm on my way to the bureau. Link up with Packy and Gus, get the fire truck, and be ready for my call. All right. Them dudes is pros, so this should go kind of smooth, right? Mike! 
Mike, we doing this? Yeah, real soon, Frank. Pick up the fire truck and RV with Gus Moda and Daryl Johns. I'll give you word when I'm out of the bureau. I got it, dog. At least we can count on these guys in a pinch. Mike, you ready for me at the bureau? Yeah, it's almost that time, Frank. Link up with Moda and Welsh. Get the fire truck. Be ready to go as soon as I say so. Shit, we'll be good to go. Me and Gus will, at least. You? I don't know, dog. Hey, what's happening, Michael? Ah, uh, my shift's about to start down at the FIB building. You know, get Gustavo and Norm on board and be ready for my signal in the fire truck. Okay, at least half the crew is serious. But we'll be ready to do this thing, dog. What's up, Mike? I'm about to start my shift at the Bureau. Hey, can you grab Packy and Daryl? Get the fire truck and be ready to go when I give the word, all right? All right, dog. Hey, one of them dudes is a beast, so we might just do this. Hey, look, clean up in there, all right? Michael. Hey, Frank. I'm heading to the Bureau. Listen, round up uh, McCreary and Richard to be ready to go with the fire truck. No problem. At least half the crew know what they're doing. Hey, M. F. I'm about to clock in at the Bureau. Reach out to Walsh and McCreary and wait on my signal. I hear you, dog. Hey, look, me, the professional, and the not-so-professional will be in the fire truck waiting for you. Mike, we moving on this thing? As soon as I get out of the Bureau, yeah. All right, dog. look, me, Darrell, and Norm, we'll be waiting in the fire truck. You know, man, I'd be amazed if we make it out with this crew. Michael, dog, we still doing this thing? Yeah, afraid so. As soon as I'm done mopping. Are you and Hugh and Norm ready to go in the fire truck? Yeah, dog, we'll be ready by the time you out of there. Hey, I guess if this is a suicide mission, man, it don't matter how good the crew is, right? What's the deal with the Bureau Lick, man? Is it happening? The deal is, I'm about to go in as a janitor. I need you to grab Daryl Johns and Hugh Welsh and wait on my word in the fire truck. All right, man, I'll round them up. Would have been kind of good to have some experience on board, but whatever, man. Call us when you're on your way out. Hey, charge is set. I'm out of the building. Hey, dog, we're right around the corner. We got your gear in here with us. And up. We hit the bureau for you, Dave. I'm done. Yes, I saw that. Meet me at the court center and I'll debrief you. I'm out, Davy. From now on, done. I appreciate that. I'm trying my best for you, but, but you and Trevor attacking Merriweather? Repeatedly? It doesn't help. That's Trevor's thing. Whoever's thing it is, it's unauthorized and it's dumb. They've been sniffing around my office. We really need to talk. Really? <sighs> all right, all right. I'll come to the court center. Fuck. I guess it's on, then. Yeah, I guess it is. Call Lester, let's go. On speakerphone. Hey, it's me. I know. How'd it go? Just fabulous. Ran into an old friend. Matter of fact, he saved my ass. Oh, we're all friends now. Suppose a group hug's out of the question? <laughs> he wants to, uh, still go on the final victory tour. All right, when it looks like it's a go, I'll contact you. And remember this, gentlemen. If we pull this off, we will be making history. Sorted, nasty, depraved history. But history, nonetheless. All right. There, you happy? Fucking thrilled. Don't forget, amigo. 
keep my eye on you. Yeah. You made it. Good. I saved you again, Davy. Again. So what are you gonna do for me about Haynes, the rest of the FIB, the IAA, and everyone else, huh? History's written by the living, okay? We can pin most of it on Agent Sanchez. I get that story right and the agency and bureau will back off. The problem we need to deal with is Trevor. Trevor? Why? Try Merriweather, Chinese gangsters, general insanity, and so on. I can spin Steve that you're controllable, but not Trevor. Steve. He's our wounded hero right now. I gotta cozy up to him, calm him down. Just get me out. No, he's a celebrity. Franklin, what's up? Hey, man. I'm in a bit of a bad situation. My boy Lamar got set up. I think he up near Polito Bay at some sawmill with some ballers. Could you, like, do some computer magic and look into it? Is that possible at all? Uh, should be. I've got a back door into the Polito Bay police network left over from the score we did up there. Uh, give me a second here. Uh, hold on. Uh, uh, yes. So what it say? Huh. Uh, this must be it. Uh, there are older reports of a weed operation being run by an African-American gang. Uh, the files got buried, so uh, I'm guessing they paid off the cops. They growing weed up there? Growing it in the hills, most likely, but they might be packing and shipping it out of this sawmill. I'd expect a fair few of them up there. Shit! And I'ma need some help. Can you tell Mike and Trevor to meet me up there? They still aren't getting along that well. Tell them it's for me, and it's serious. Thanks, man. Jimmy, shut up a second. Hey, Devin, look. I need to say about Molly, man, I'm sorry, but I didn't do it. I told you to slow it down, Slick. It was an accident. I was there, but I had nothing to do with it. Sure, yeah, hey. You made a fool out of me, Michael, and that is something I'm not gonna forget. Look, Devin, I said I'm sorry. I feel bad for you, but you don't threaten me, because this movie's happening, all right? So let's just calm down and try to be friends again. Oh, absolutely, Slick. Forgive and forget. Namaste. Hey, we're here. They came to my house, Lester. My house. So I asked Amanda and the kids to move out for a few days. I hate to say it, but Merriweather isn't sure on excuses to come and kill you. Nor is Devin Weston. I ain't looking for perspective, Lester. They came after my family. All right, right. I, I don't know what to say. Does this change where you stand on the Union Depository? Hell no. We move on that right away. Before it gets any hotter. Oh, that's smart. Uh, meet me at the strip joint. I'll get word to Frank and Trevor. Right. Oh, Too close! It's just an online persona! It was satire or parody or something! I didn't mean it! Jim? You're taking me up Phantom Canyon in this charcoal color Landstalker to punish me for trolling you? If only someone would save me! Stalin, kid. I'll be there soon. You know, you, you really are funny and interesting guys. I mean, any attention is uh, good attention, right? Can't do it, son. Get yourself out of this mess. Okay, well, how much of my father's money do you think it'll take to get me out of this situation? Hey, eyes front, okay? There's no reason at all to be suspicious of anyone behind us. And if there was, he would just be there to warn you. He would definitely not kill you. Definitely would not kill you. Shut up, troll! You gave up your right to free speech when you insulted a celebrity on the internet. It was a couple of comments, some colorful language. Uh, it was harassment. You're the comedy writer. Deal with the heckle. I blocked you. 
You started another account. I blocked you again. You started another. But what you didn't count on is me having the money and the resources to trace your IP. I count on you having better things to do. Well, I don't. I'm a lonely man, and social media is my life. It's given me the recognition I've been denied my whole life. I can make snarky comments and glib pronouncements and lap up the adulation, banishing any form of dissent. I'm a king, and Bleeder is my kingdom. Okay, um, that's pretty sad. Don't lose sleep over it. When I'm done, the only bleeding you'll be doing is actual, like, bleeding, because then you'll be in pain. Me! <laughs> <laughs> Ow. Ah, back in that car. That's my. Who is that animal? That's my dad, you a hole. Oh, he's gonna fuck you up properly. Oh, really? How big's this herd, huh? The size of your herd. Don't matter when you're a total badass psycho, you dick. Daddy's boy. Read the tattoo, kid. What's it say? Entitled, because I am. <sighs> Horrible little troll. Dad! Dad! Hey, I got something we can use for the getaway. I'll call you when it's in the parking garage. Okay, I'm not going anywhere. Hey, there's been a change of plan in regards to the getaway. The new location is, uh... Hey there, Brad. Hey, Les. Getaway car's in the garage. Hey, I got something we can use for the getaway. I'm gonna put it in that garage, and I'll call you back. Okay, I'm not going anywhere. Hey, I had to, uh, switch up our getaway, man. New location is, uh... The getaway car is in the parking garage, Lester. Hey, I got something that'll be good for the getaway. I'll call again when it's in the parking garage. Okay, I'm not going anywhere. I moved the car. It's it. Uh, it's in, uh... One getaway car in the parking garage, Lester Crest. Michael. Yeah. So we got one of these uh, cutter things. What do you want me to do with it? I paid off a guard at the parking lot around from the bank. He'll open the gates for you. Okay, if you trust him. All right, Lester. Drills at the lot. Frank? Hey, I got this big ass drill thing. Good. There's a guy working at the parking lot around from the Union Depository. He'll let you in. Shit, all right, dog. Your guy was cool, Les. The drill's in that lot. Good work. Trevor? Lester the Molester. I got your drill. Great. We got a guy at the parking lot next to the depository. He'll let you in. You leave it there. Night. The tunnel bore machine is at the lot. Your guy better be dependable, Lester. Good work, but. Hey, Trevor, I need your help. I'm taking down that train we need for the UD, and I'm short a pilot. Fine. I think Lester arranged for the chopper to be at my airstrip. I'll go get it. Cool. Let me know when you're there, and I'll be on a headset.
Hey, T, I'm about to hit that train. Can you get to the chopper, Lester, set up? Yeah, sure thing. I'll call you from the helipad. All right, holler at me on the headset. Mike, getting that train we need for the UD job. I need you to get that chopper, Lester, organized and come pick it up. Oh, now you need me. You're getting a share of the metal, ain't you? Earn it. Hit me on the headset when you're at the airfield. We are now the proud owners of a freight train. Once we've got the gear. You said you wanted a train? I got you a train, Lester. Good work, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. There's a fair amount of prep work still to do. Freight train. Once we've got the getaway vehicle, we're good to go. Rest. All right, now all we need is the tunnel bore machine. So, if we can just get a hold of the train, we'll be ready to hit it. Excellent. I'll let the others know we have everything we need. We'll meet at the strip club. Lester, I got the spike strips we need. Good. We got some of those spike strips for the UD job, man. Good. Now. All right, so I've been getting some police stingers for the big one, Lest. I'm guessing you ain't been up to much. Excellent. Hey, Lester. First gauntlet's ready to go. All right, that's good work. Second gauntlet's a go, Lest. Good. We only need one more. Third and final gauntlet's primed and ready. Excellent. First of the UD gauntlet is modded and in the lockup. Thanks for letting me know. The second gauntlet is in the lockup, modified and ready. All right, one less thing to worry about. The third gauntlet is there. It had work done and everything. Okay. The first one of those cars is ready to go, Mo. Mo? Oh, Mo Lester. Yeah, very good. Second car is souped up and stored away for you. Thank you, Trevor. Really. We got the third one of them cars last. Okay, now we just need the stingers and we're set. Good job, man. Good. Now, once we have all the modified gauntlets, we take this score. Get ready. Excellent. I'll let the others know we have everything we need. We'll meet at the strip club. Franklin, what's up? Shit, what's cracking, homie? We need to talk, but somewhere quiet, all right? Yeah, sure, man. Whatever you need. How about one of those empty lots off El Burro, on the east side of town? Yeah, all right, homie. Look, I'll meet you there, all right? Franklin, what's up, big homie? Mike, man, I need to have a conversation with Trevor. You know, yeah, that conversation. Oh. Shit. All right. Okay. Look, man, the FIB dudes want him gone. 
And Devin Weston wants y'all gone. You know how it is, dawg. <sighs> Shit. Somebody gotta go. Oh, well, it ain't fucking me. Exactly, man. Look, we meeting at a Borough Heights. So you think you can help me? Uh, I don't know. That sounds like it's your thing, Frank. I I'll see what I can do. Yo, where are you, man? I'm chasing T through the oil field. Shit. Okay. I'm not far away. Try and stop him. Hey, kid, how you doing? Shit, not too good, dawg. Look, man, we need to talk, but somewhere quiet. All right. Listen, let's take a drive out of town. You and me, we'll meet off Route 68 by that field of satellite dishes. All the way out there? Yeah, all right, man. Sure. Frankie. Hey, T, man. I'm in trouble, dawg. I think I gotta take out Michael. Got to? Yeah, man, look. The FIB, man, they trying to get me to clap you. And Devin Weston, he trying to get me to ice Michael. And I thought if I... If I do that, man, maybe we got some room, you know? So wh what are you telling me this for? Cuz, dog, I'm doing this for us. I thought you could... Well, I can't! You're turning on him? I have had enough traitors in my life! Man, your ass could say thank you. Shit. You deserve each other! Franklin? Lester, dawg. Man, we need to talk. I got a problem I need your help with. Man, actually, fuck it. Man, we all got a problem you can help us with. Calm down, all right? Come to my house. All right, I, all right, I'm coming. What's up, homie? Man, things are kind of fucked up right now, dawg. It's all good, nigga. Who better to have in a fucked up situation than a fucked up fool like me? Man, that's what the fuck I wanted to hear. Hey, look, I'm coming to your crib to get your ass. I'm here. Oh, fuck, what a mess, man. Well, let's get it cleaned up. How about you get Lester on the line? Who is this? Stop calling this number. Hey, it's me, dawg. <laughs> You're alive. I thought someone might have your phone. Nah, nah, but look, I got you on speakerphone. Oh, did Mike make it? Yeah, I'm here. And the other one? <clears throat> See you putting the ground, Wheels! Uh-huh. You, um, just calling for a chat? No, we got some work to do. Can you get us some whereabouts? Oh, I'll do my best. Who? Steve Haynes, to start. And Devin Weston's ass. And, uh, Wei Ching! W-E-I-C-H-E-N-G! Wei Chang! Wei Chang! And Franklin's pal, Stretch! Huh. Stretch? Yeah, man, look, his real name is Harold Joseph. Okay, well, I can tell you that Agent Haynes is taping a show over on Del Perro Pier. Shooting permit came up immediately. Check it! Oh, I wanted to ice that fucker since the moment I met him. All right, all right. Ah, I got a signal from Mr. Harold Joseph's phone over at the B.J. Smith Recreation Center. No, I got him. I got him. Let's keep him clear of uh, known associates. All right, thanks, dawg. You got it. What you got for me? Tao Ching's credit card just bought a Magnum at the beach club in Pacific Bluffs. Okay, I'll go ask his ass about his punk-ass dad. When I find Mr. Weston, I'll send the coordinates. All right, good. All right. We made our plans. Let's stick to them. We take out our assigned targets. Any deviation will lead to confusion and probably failure. We got one shot at this, guys. All right, let's do this shit. Go. TP Enterprise, main campus. All right, Ron. What's happening, Trevor? We're undergoing a transition. Oh, yeah? I think that Chinese problem might be taken care of, and there's money in the bank. Well, the O'Neills are gone, and the bikers ain't showing up again. So we're rich and at peace. Long as the forces of corporate darkness don't identify us as a threat, there's nothing to hold us back. Yeah. I guess we're all out of excuses. Hey, 
Hey, Lamar, that was above and beyond, homie. Ain't nothing above and beyond when it comes to the homies, homie. <laughs> A nigga just want to be helpful, you heard me? I'm serious, dawg. That's hood. Michael and Trevor, too. We grateful. You a real homie, and I love you, dawg. You too, homie. You done with this bullshit now? Almost. A couple loose ends. Aw, oh, shit. I know that voice. You creeping on some fools, huh? All right, nigga, we'll handle your candle. Lay low, my nigga. 